Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm on a uh, health and weight loss journey. So I thought today I would do my three week, this is my third week of being on this journey. So I, I've only pretty much just started. Uh, but I thought I would do the, the check-in update in the form of a chatty get ready with me because I have a couple other videos I want to film and I want to actually wear makeup because I finally unpacked all my makeup and got my makeup table all set up. Of course, I brought all, all here so we can get ready together. But so let's let's talk about how I'm doing. Um, not only on my health and weight loss journey, but just life in general and uh, put on some makeup and and I'll just probably won't talk a lot about the makeup but you know sometimes I do anyway yeah. you guys have been with me for several of these you know <laughs> all right so I'm starting with just uh, this Alice in Wonderland from ZC Cosmetics um, it's just a uh, primer and I actually do have um, makeup sponges I just like putting some things on with my fingers like I used to use a makeup sponge to put on primer, but I like fingers work just as well. So, and I did just wash my hands. My hands are clean, so I'm not worried about like bacteria. Although knowing me with a sponge, the sponge wouldn't have been cleaned in a few months anyway. <laughs> so my fingers are probably better for my skin. So my, my, um, Oh, tape up my eyes. My, my uh, how I'm doing. How I'm doing. Week three. So we left off last week, which was the end of week two, and I weighed in at was it um, 188? I think even. I think it was 188 even, if I remember correctly. And uh, this week, I weighed in at 186.7. Also, when I talked about it last week, I kept forgetting to say the one. I was just like, 86 pounds, <laughs> which would be a little underweight for me. <laughs> Probably I have these on even. I can kind of never, like, not tell easily. And sometimes I'll have one angled this way and one angled more up. And then I have to, like, do corrections and stuff. But I think, I think I have it. <sighs> we'll find out when the makeup, once the makeup goes on, though. Okay. So, so yeah, so I weighed in at 186.7 which is actually a 1.3 pound loss. So I'm still doing the, the, uh, the one pound a week. That is, you know, that, that goal with the 1500 calories is drop one pound a week. So I'm still right around there, just a little over one pound, but you know, different water fluctuations and stuff can always account for all of that. As long as it keeps steadily being a little less <laughs> each, each week is what I'm looking for here. I'm wearing a uh, purple dress today, so I thought I would, you know, go purple. <laughs> and uh, although this purple is like a different, different shade of purple, so I am going to go in with this um, dark purple right here in this Revolution palette. I love this palette. All these purples are so pretty. So, so yeah, I'm still on track. I, I did, I did struggle with. Um, snacks again I have a real hard time like I'll do really good all day <laughs> and I do save a few calories because I did learn like I, I mentioned last week I did learn there's no way I can not snack after 8 p.m. I tried it just doesn't work for me <laughs> next thing I know there's snacks in my mouth Ugh. but um, so I, I've been saving it uh, you know at least 300 calories for the evening so I can have a few snacks but then I got a little carried away with those snacks. Like Bryant was away this last weekend. Uh, he went to Magstock, which I did a, a, a small vlog on Magstock uh, last year, because I went last year. But because I just moved in, I didn't want to leave the cats alone for another, you know, ex four days when I just moved them here. And plus, I couldn't have gone even if I wanted to, because I also had to meet the painters on Friday. He, he uh, it starts on Thursday and he left Thursday. But I had to meet the painters in Richmond on Friday to approve, do the walkthrough and approve the work. And then I, um, oh, of course it wasn't the weekend, but like directly after the weekend, Monday and uh, Tuesday, uh, my girlfriend and my parents came down and we did a really thorough cleaning on the Richmond house to get it ready to sell. 
and my real estate agent is currently working on getting the listing together, doing the, the market research and all that to, to see what our starting price will be. So I don't quite know that yet. So with, with all that going on, I think that also I stress ate a little bit because <laughs> I just had so much <laughs> happening and uh, and like on the day that we went to clean, I uh, went to clean the house. We thought it was going to take two days, but we were able to get it because uh, there were the the four of us were able to get it done in one day. Um, <laughs> it was a day of listening to my mom complain about how I must have never cleaned in my life because of how dirty it was. And and she's not entirely wrong. There are things that I just never thought about, like the very tops of cabinets and behind stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of a clean directly what's in front of me as long as I don't have to move anything type person. And I know that's not a deep cleaning. <laughs> and I don't think I'd ever... Other than cleaning up spills, I don't think I'd ever cleaned out my refrigerator and freezer. <laughs> so that was all kind of, you know, a little messy. <laughs> I'm just not, I'm just not a, like a deep cleaner type person. I'm definitely more of a surface cleaner type person. Uh, but, but we got it done. We got it done. My dad did like all the windows. My girlfriend did uh, both of the bathrooms. <sighs> and, um... My mom and I tackled the kitchen, <laughs> which was pretty bad. <laughs> and then, of course, we did all the floors and everything. But, yeah, I was happy we were able to get it done in just the one day. But, obviously, I wasn't good eating that day. I started out with Wendy's for breakfast because I was just in a hurry and needed to get on the road because it's an hour and a half drive. And I had to make sure I met everyone there in time because my friend was coming from D.C. My parents were coming from the Shenandoah Valley. We're all converging on Richmond. <laughs> and I wanted to get there, you know, a little ahead of them to make sure that I was there when they got there. So I just stopped at Wendy's and I got this uh, his maple bacon chicken croissant. And oh my God, that thing was good. But I only got the sandwich and just the sandwich was like almost 600 calories. <laughs> and it wasn't huge, it was small. So that was like, what is that, over a third of my calories just from that, that one breakfast sandwich. And then, of course, I had a, a, a soda, which I did not get diet because I wanted the sugar and caffeine because it was early in the morning. I had a Coke. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so, like, by, by the time I was done with breakfast, I'd already had, like, 800 calories. <laughs> and then my mom had made these really delicious, huge oatmeal cookies. And um, uh, my, my mother is very healthy she reads ingredients she doesn't use anything that you know everything's organic so it was a healthy cookie but it was still a big and there, there was definitely still sugar <laughs> cookie because <laughs> it was so good it had uh, like i want to say cranberries in it and chocolate chips and of course oatmeal it was so good but but that was my lunch <laughs> and then we came home and uh uh, Brian and I just threw a frozen pizza in the uh, the oven for dinner. So I did go over my calories just a little bit because I also had a, a Yoohoo with my pizza for dinner. So I, went, I did go over my calories just a little bit that day. But I also did far more physical activity than normal because, you know, I was getting getting uh, you know, all that cleaning. So, so I don't think it mattered too much that I went, you know, uh, I think I went like... 200 calories over 1500 I think it was at like 1700 calories but yeah I don't think it mattered too much because of all the work I did so I think it balanced out but yeah there were a few days again like with the I got I went just over like it wasn't too bad but I did go like 100 calories over a couple of days on over snacking but still like 2,000 is a uh, 2,000 calories is a maintaining calorie balance. Like it'll help, it'll maintain your weight with uh, limited physical activity. And I don't, I still haven't started my exercise, which I should be doing soon because I got the DVD player set up. <laughs> I, I now have internet out here. We had to get an extender to make sure internet could get out here. And I now have internet out here, so I have my TV set up with my fire stick and all of my stuff. And, and I found all my exercise DVDs out a lot more than I remembered. I have exercise DVDs for the dance poles, and I also have uh, you know just regular exercise DVDs. I have some weightlifting ones that I used to really like, and I think I need to start picking those out because I, I need to work on my strength. And, yeah, so... 
there's no excuse for me not to have started doing my exercise of some sort. Like I should pick just one of the videos and just do a routine once a day. It's not that much. Uh, like I believe the ones I have are all like 30 minute. They're not even long ones. I might have one that has maybe a 45 minute or an hour one on there. But most of them are like 20, 30 minute quick because I was always into when I did exercise regularly, those quick <laughs> bouts. So... I forgot where I am with the makeup. I got so excited talking about that. But anyway, I should start my exercising soon, fingers crossed. But again, I have been so busy trying to get this garage together. I finally got my closet stuff up in the little closet room that's over here next to me. Um, like as I wanted to put up, you know, those the bars and the shelves and stuff so I can actually hang clothes in there because, you know, it was just a empty room. <laughs> so I, I, I had a bunch at the old house that my real estate agent told me to take down in my bedroom. Uh, she said it would you know, be better for it not to be there. So I installed all that here. Plus I had a bunch of extra pieces because I didn't use the whole kit when I installed that one wall. So I had uh, an extra kit uh, plus some extra pieces from a, because the one, the one was silver and then another one was white that we used in the downstairs closets. And I had a few extra pieces from that. So I was able to set up a decent amount. This is what I'm trying to get at. I was able to set up a decent amount of um, bars to hang stuff up on. And next week, I'm, uh, if I can get my act together <laughs> and make it happen, I want to do a couple of lives where I am hanging up clothes, basically, so you guys can actually go through my wardrobe with me. Because <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever done a closet tour. I've shown parts of my closet. But I don't think I've ever done a, like, here's all my clothes sort of thing. And we can, we can look at them by me hanging them back up, so it can be a dual thing. Let me know if you're interested in that. I'll probably do it anyway and just talk to myself if no one shows up. <laughs> But still, let me know if you're interested in that. It'd be nice to, you know, have the company while I'm hanging up all those clothes. All right, let's see. Where are we with this makeup? Is that it for the eyes? Yeah. Like I said, I'm going a little easy today, a little simple. I have a makeup wipe here to get rid of the excess because I apparently had some fallout. Okay. Next, I'm just going to put on a face powder. I have a few dry patches right now. It's it's not too terrible. I haven't been as consistent with the castor oil lately. I did I do have it. Like I do know where it is. It's not like lost or anything. It's it, and it's in the bathroom in the house so that I can use it at night, but I keep forgetting. So at this point I'm using it like two or three times a week <laughs> instead of every night. Uh, but that's probably better cuz I feel like it was, you know, cuz it's a heavy oil. It was beginning to make me break out a little bit on my cheeks because my cheeks are the part that don't necessarily need uh, the extra moisturizing. <laughs> so it was making me break out a little there, so I think it's better that I'm only doing it a couple times a week now. Um, I'm not sure what all the benefits are. Everyone was talking about, I started using the castor oil because uh, like a whole bunch of the beauty gurus that, that I used to watch, I don't really watch them very much anymore, but once in a while I'll catch a video. They were all talking about it, so I was like, well, may maybe there's something to this. And I gave it a try. But, you know, it's fine. It, a lot of people say it makes your eyelashes grow, but I didn't notice any difference in my eyelash length. I still have pretty short, sparse eyelashes, which I'll put a ton of mascara on because I don't feel like doing falsies today. There's still a few dry patches. I still wouldn't want to wear the powder out in public because you would be able to see it. But with the, uh, the lights, it, it, it always blends nicely and, and does do a nice finish on camera. All right, moving on. I need to put something under my eyes. I think I'm going to actually stick to the purple. I just kind of want to go monotone with this today. And uh, as usual, if I bend too close to the mirror, I'll cut all that out and just suddenly I'll have makeup on. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put, I think I'll put this shimmery one right here just in the corner of the eye. This one's Gone a little bit hard pan, but at the same time a little bit crumbly in places. <laughs> but it's a really pretty shimmer. Okay, pretty good. And what else do we need? I guess I'll do a, a touch of uh, contouring. Why not? I'm still using this super old Chocolate Soleil sample from Too Faced that I got in an Ipsy forever ago. <laughs> it's, I've hit pan, but I just really like this color because it's like more of a gray tone. It's not orange. Like I find so many, uh, like, uh, what are these things called? Bronzers, 
contour things are like orange toned and I definitely prefer a more gray matte toned. Let's see, what else? I think I've covered everything as far as like the health and weight loss thing. I haven't started exercising yet. Um, I, ha I have been cooking uh, for the most part. I've been cooking at home uh, from scratch. So that's probably helping too. We're not eating out at restaurants, you know, four nights a week. <laughs> like we had been there for a while. For a while there, it was like every time we hung out, we went out and ate. <laughs> but, but I was like, once I move in, that's really impractical. We can't go out to eat every single day. <laughs> so, so I've been uh, doing some cooking. I'm still just uh, trying to decide whether or not I want to resubscribe to one of the meal services. I haven't yet. I have so many recipe cards from when I used to belong to several of them. <laughs> like, no, obviously not at once, but I've tried so many of them that, that I've been kind of going off the recipe cards and just making things that I like from those cards. My, my biggest thing is just that snacking after 8 p.m. I just, and it's, and it is because I do fairly often use edibles to sleep. Uh, not all the time, not, it's not an every, everyday occurrence, but it is definitely several times a week. I just, especially recently, it's been a little bit more than usual because I just have been a bit stressed. <laughs> There's been a lot going on. <laughs> And and when I try to sleep, my brain just won't shut up because there's just so much I need to do, uh, may have forgotten to do, you know, st should do. Just there's just so much that that like my brain won't shut up. So so I have been taking edibles a lot more than like I should be probably. <laughs> and and I, I think that'll calm down once the house finally sells because we're we're still not we're still not there yet. We're still not done yet. I have put myself into a little bit of credit card debt getting the house ready to sell. I do have still cash left over in my savings, but it's not a lot at this point. I'm really cutting it close. <laughs> I, I yeah, The end of June will be two full years of me not working. <laughs> two full years. So my savings has really lasted a long time, and I actually invested a huge chunk of it into uh, renovating this garage to make it livable, you know, so I could put my stuff out here. <laughs> to make all this to make all this work so so I, I managed to make that savings go pretty far but I am dwindling and I need to keep what's left to pay the mortgage and bills until the house actually sells so I'm going to be stressed until the house actually sells <sighs> but you know I, that's just the way this goes like I the, the painting of the house was so much more expensive than I was planning on. I had only budgeted 5000 for it and it turned out to be 11000 And I get it because the house, uh, there was a lot of um, cosmetic work that needed to be done on the walls. It, or the house is 80 years old. It had been a rental before I purchased it and I honestly did not put a lot of work into fixing cosmetic things like, you know, some uh, crack in the wall or, you know, a part of uh, a ceiling that would, uh, from the steam in the bathroom that was beginning to, you know, peel or uh, crumble a little bit. Like, I just, I just lived with it. I didn't really, <laughs> because there were other things I wanted to spend my money on. But, you know, when you're selling it, you got to make it look like it's not uh, a rental that someone's destroyed. <laughs> but, oh my God, the painters did such an amazing job. Oh, it, it looks like a new house. I'll actually, at the very end of this video, after I sign off, I'm going to put a clip of a walkthrough I did of uh, at, right after they finished painting. Um, and, and just so you can see, like, I, if you've ever seen my house tour video, you'll be able to see such a huge difference. It looks, it looks like such a nice newer home <laughs> from the inside. The outside is still a 80-year-old Cape Cod with old siding. <laughs> But it does have a, a newer roof because I had to replace the roof when I first moved in. <laughs> All right, where are we with this makeup thing? I think we need to put on a ton of mascara next. And I have my three mascaras. Two of them are by Essence. And then this uh, one is just Clean Topia by CoverGirl. So I'm going to start with this Essence one, which I, I actually was really impressed with. Like, I have a hard time finding mascaras that, that I like in any way. Uh, but these Essence ones are amazingly decent for $5. My favorite one is really expensive, and I just don't want to spend $30 on a mascara. But it's the, uh, it's the one in the green tube. Is that 
it cosmetics i think it's it cosmetics i think it's their mascara that was like my favorite mascara i got one in an ipsy and it was amazing i kept it for like a year <laughs> like it was fine finally it dried out i was like i guess i just gotta move on <laughs> but i just can't bring myself to spend 30 dollars on a single mascara But I don't know if you can see the difference here, but I think, I mean, just look at that compared to the one I haven't done yet. That's just one coat. I think this is a really decent mascara. It, like, it separates and lengthens and, of course, darkens, which, you know, a mascara <laughs> should do <laughs> at the very least. At the very least, it should make them darker. But this one actually seems to, like, thicken and lengthen. Like, I don't know if you could, because, like, when I don't have any mascara on at all and I just look straight ahead like this, I cannot see any eyelashes at all, but I can actually see these now. <laughs> so, I do really like this mascara. It's the Lash Without Limits by Essence. And then, of course, the classic uh, Lash Princess by Essence is, I think, like one that's really popular for uh, inexpensive, decent mascara. This one's probably getting a little older and drying out. But this one adds a little more volume. I don't know if you can see the difference there. But yeah, this one definitely adds a little more volume. And then I'm just putting on a third coat of the Cover Girl, just because why not? <laughs> I'm not doing falsies today, so I might as well just build up the mascaras. I right, do the other side. I'll probably cut this out because you just saw me do the one. You don't need to watch me do the other. <laughs> All right, so I think we are down to just lipstick. And today I am going to use, uh, it's a, a old KBD um, in Poe, which is like a really dark purple color. And it's just one of the bullet lipsticks. And I'm not even sure if they make these anymore. Like, because I actually, I think I did purchase these right before they became KBD when they were still... Uh, whatever her name was, <laughs> who, who like, had a bunch of controversies and then so had to sell her makeup company or something. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> that was a while ago. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've covered everything. Like, I talked a whole bunch about the house and the selling and the moving and the, <laughs> I'm sure there are other things I had initially wanted to talk about, but as usual, I don't write things down and I just wing it and then what, what happens, happens. <laughs> But yeah, I guess the only other somewhat interesting thing happening in my life right now is sometime later this summer, uh, Bryant has a teenage son, and he is going to be moving in with us. Um, <laughs> all the more reason why he needed the the garage space, because it's already a, a smaller house without a lot of room for me to put my stuff. And it's going to become even smaller <laughs> with three of us in there. But, you know, that, that, that's fine. He's I think he's 15. So uh, maybe I'll start uh, doing family blog stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Probably not, but you know. But yeah, I guess that's it. That's, I think I've caught you up on uh, my, my life so far. Mostly just stressed about this selling of this house. And cause thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.